<laughs> wake up, wake up, everybody. What? No, I'm kidding. That's not funny. <laughs> a grape pinched between thumb and index, skin crushed. Yeast feasting on inner sweetness bubbling up is my heart. Crushed, threshed, and bruised my fruits. Pressed, squeezed for the essential oil. Dough kneaded beat, rolled, and baked, leavening in the warmth. This fullness in my heart. Breaking up the fallow ground that by long drought had hardened and cracked. Now moistened shoveled and mixed back together, ready to harvest and thresh and distinguish the wheat from the chaff. A land that drips with honeycomb, that overflows with milk and honey, and vineyards whereby the edges are left for strangers to garner that they may eat, is my heart. The surgical steel edge circumspectly sliced the self-protective layer off from the underlying sensitivity of this throbbing heart. I walk this cathedral of flesh Pulsing each step rhythm, and vulnerably I weigh the moments passing by, counting the approaching footsteps of a skeleton to tap my shoulder. Till then, every feeling is a blessing and none to be preferred, but ooh, encounters, ah, actually inside, swimming in this, in this pool, like heart to heart, and trying to have some sliver of heart to heart every day because that does feel better. And the Torah said on that day, no man will have to say to his neighbor, know the Lord, for all shall know him from the least unto the greatest, because the law is written on their hearts. Inscribe the signature of conscience bespeaking something of who we are unless we sear and silence it. For it is more than just our demons we repress. We repress our angels too. We suppress our compassion. And we suppress our general giving up <clears throat> when doing otherwise would make us feel too vulnerable. A chatter begins in the skull over trivialities that take us from ourselves with uncountable distractions. We lose our accountability to our noblest dreams as we drift in a sea of disillusionment. The noblest dreams, the noblest aspirations, and really everyone could tell you what some of those have been. Our visions we lose sight of worn down by the screwed up world. Many are merely maintaining. And yet if we could resuscitate our better intuitions and dare to fall and arise indefinitely, but one way or another, pilgrim, if you pursued that pursuit, there'd be no way to get out of this world without leaving some good ripples trailing off behind you. At this point of sci-fi-like technology, basic humanity 
may need to be rediscovered. If there is enough time, in the cool of the evening, as the sun wanes from its waxing, I'll rediscover humanity in you, and you'll rediscover humanity in me. All right. Woo! Tara. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Wayne Westfall. <laughs>